Uh, this International Women's Day, we acknowledge and celebrate the remarkable achievements of the women in the technology sector. So collectively, we cultivate an environment that value the diversity and uh, you know the nurtures inclusiveness. Our esteemed guest today is a prominent voice into the tech community. So let me provide her the platform she deserved as I take a moment to welcome Anna. Uh, she is a Microsoft MVP in the business application category. And I would request her if she can provide uh, the intro for herself and uh, then we will start the conversation. So over to you, Anna. Uh, thank you, Ambesh, for having me here. I'm uh, glad to be here and share my experiences with everyone. Uh, to start with, so I started my career uh, as a SharePoint mm -hmm. developer, like uh, when I used to study and we were interning on a project in our last year of uh, mm -hmm. uh, like post-graduation. We did a SharePoint development project. Uh, in those days, we had like WSS and MOS 2007. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got interested in Microsoft technologies. And uh, I started in my career with the same company where I was interning uh, as a SharePoint developer. And we worked through like workflows, document libraries, lists, uh, sites, branding, and all, all that kind of stuff. So uh, then how I graduated as a like full stack developer and then being a solution architect, uh, designing solution for different applications, uh, that those were which were using the Microsoft technology stack. And then Microsoft 365 mm -hmm. came into picture and there were a lot of migrations to be done to SharePoint Online, people were moving from SharePoint on-prem to online, so uh, got into that area. And then at that time, I was really busy working like uh, many hours a day and uh, like totally mm -hmm. passionate about what I was doing, though I did overlook that, okay, I'm also facing few health challenges because uh, focusing more on work uh, did take a to toll on my health. So I decided yeah. like I should take a break from this uh, while I recover mm -hmm. from uh, my health issues. And mm -hmm. that's where uh, I got instantly bored after a month of leaving what I used to do. Okay. So uh, thought of uh, starting my own consultancy where uh, where I, I have like freedom of uh, doing mm -hmm. what I want to do and doing it at the time I want to, uh, like for example, if I want to spend like four hours a day, at least start with that. Uh, so that I can I can like kind of balance looking after my health as well as keep myself busy with work. So that's how I started doing my consultancy. And then uh, as years uh, go by uh, in one or two years, I started again doing uh, full time consultancy and I enjoyed doing it because uh, I had uh, ownership of my work, freedom to choose the timings of my work and the freedom to choose what I what type of work I wanted to do and what not. So for uh, that. So I loved uh, that model of working. Uh, however, then a uh, lot of work started coming my way and uh, I realized that, okay, I need a team around me. Uh, being a single person uh, handling all of this is too much for me. So that's how I added a couple of people in my team and we started uh, Soul Dragon India uh, while working yeah. with Peter Ward, who is the CEO of Soul Dragon. Uh, so uh, that's how we st uh, started Soul Dragon India and uh, and then we are there from two people to around 130 people here in India. And it's been like very fruitful journey and a lot of mm -hmm. learning across this journey. Uh, and uh, I have been always very technology focused. So my role within the organization is also technology focused. And uh, I I work hands on, a, uh, on the projects with my team. And uh, mm -hmm. like there is always something new to learn uh, every day from our projects. And uh, I use the community forums uh, very vastly. Like if, if we are facing the issue, I trust the community forums that, okay, we'll get some solution out of it and we would post it there. And that's what like inspired me to even help other people on the community forum that we are also learning a lot from our projects and sharing this learning in the issue mm -hmm. space by other people would of course, motivates us that, okay, at least our learning and knowledge could help someone in solving that issue. So that's where my contributions uh, came from. At that time, I did not even think that, okay, this could lead to being an MVP. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, like before a uh, COVID situation, like uh, there was a lot of time I used to have uh, spare. So I also did a speaking uh, events uh, in Ahmedabad and uh, I, 
like the the most scenarios i like to speak about is uh, that what we learned across a process on doing mm-hmm. something so yeah. that's my focus uh, area whenever i'm writing writing a blog or i'm speaking about and forums are always like if someone is facing an issue help them get through that issue so that ha- have been my focus contribution that okay what we've learned share it across people so that's how uh, i someone noticing my contributions uh, in mvp com- community and then i got nominated and i couldn't believe when i got my mvp two years back okay. uh, so so it's been a great learning journey, journey since then i visited mm-hmm. mvp summit last year and was a great experience and looking forward to it next week so this is a nutshell on how mm-hmm. my professional journey has been Okay, so you are traveling next week as well, right? Or yes. To the, okay, that's yes, wonderful to, to meet the other MVP uh, fellows yep. there. Okay, um, that is a lot about the work. But what kind of the things you do enjoying outside of your work now, like in your free time? Yeah, so like COVID situation did make me fail uh, in cooking. So I, oh. I wasn't a great cook before COVID, but. but the things uh, the situations we had in covid like we did not have cook coming at our home to cook our food mm-hmm. so we had to do it by ourselves because like uh, being quarantined and at home so i did try out that and i i love it since then so like when i'm not working uh, i'm happy cooking lunch or dinner or breakfast uh, for me and my family uh, so have got great interest at that i have been uh, like uh, interest in painting as a key kid so have okay. been pursuing some uh, some interest on on doing paint i like to play with colors like colors do attract me a lot so mm-hmm. not drawing but painting i love doing that and um, yeah so i think those are the most two interest uh, out of uh, my professional life i i love i love and as well as traveling like my work also re- requires a lot of traveling so uh, okay. and and my husband also likes traveling so mm-hmm. we like to explore new places uh, at our pace and learning the culture and the food and enjoying that mm-hmm. is also a special interest for us and that's wonderful and probably mm-hmm. in that case so uh, if i would be in india next time in ahmedabad i would definitely love to visit uh, to you yeah, and we would love to host see, you yeah <laughs> we'll see what you what i can um, mm-hmm. what I, what i can eat in typical uh, gujarati food so maybe i would i would be yeah, waiting gujarati for that yeah gujarati is one. our foodie yeah right. so you'll you'll find great so, okay that's great and um, maybe i think uh, before going if you uh, if you can provide some kind of the advices or the tip uh, uh, if you want to share with the aspiring women in the tech field uh, i know right yeah so uh, one thing i would like to share which has mm-hmm. helped my career a lot so uh, you come across a lot of type of work sometimes you might think yeah this may not be right work for me but what i mm-hmm. think is whatever arrives uh, whatever opportunities you get try to grab mm-hmm. those then you you can okay. carve out opportunities mm-hmm. that you want but whatever uh, arrives to you like try it on rather than being choosy on okay i want to do this not that for example if i try and grab an opportunity and then working across it i might uh, i might figure out that okay what i want to do and uh, get and and then see how i get it so uh, like don't limit yourself that okay do this not that whatever mm-hmm. comes your way uh, grab it uh, give your 100% and then uh, a- at the end of it you will feel ful- fulfilled about how you got through it uh, initially you may have some reservations but yeah. uh, the process of it and learning through it does give uh, fulfillment on or uh, on whatever you do with those opportunities so that's that's one thing and one is like so sometimes women like uh, end up having sabbaticals so mm-hmm. probably they they become mothers and they might need to take break or uh, sure. some family situation has occurred they might need to take break and they become less confident uh, after mm-hmm. taking a sabbatical right but i think uh, have a little patience and try to get back on whenever you feel ready for work 
Uh, if you have patience in one or two years, if you give yourself time and give dedication to your work when you are, whenever you are ready for work, you'll come back again. Like you'll bounce back and do do great at your career. So don't limit. Like feel yourself that okay, I've had a break. Now mm -hmm. how can I enter the a work world again, right? So it, mm -hmm. it takes time. It takes uh, time, but don't lose hope, right? There's always uh, light at the end of the tunnel and give uh, give yourself, uh, be patient, give your 100% and you'll be there again. Shining star. Oh, oh. So thank you, Anna, for sharing your insight. And I'm, I'm really confident that this conversation will inspire and guide the other women toward achieving their full potential, uh, even if they're on the sabbatical or any other kind of the leave and they, they have on the break in their career and they would like to jump back with a more roar. And uh, we are almost to the end of our conversation for today. Mm -hmm. So thank you again uh, to be our graceful guest. And um, all of the viewers, please subscribe the channels for the more content like this around the business applications, Azure or the Power Platform. As we continue our journey towards the inclusivity and the empowerment, each step contribute to a brighter future for the women in tech. And I wish you, Anna, and everyone a happy International Women's Day. So thank you again, and we thank can you. sign up for now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you for the opportunity. Very grateful for it. Uh, we are uh, we are honored for that. So <laughs> totally fine. And thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah, thank you.